Hey guys, it's Harry, and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to publish your own iBook. Now, before now, and Apple has recently updated this site, and before then, you could not submit your uh, you could not submit iBooks to the iBook store unless you were represented by a publisher, and Apple had to sign with that publisher. Now they've opened it up to uh, a few. Well, they've opened it up to. I believe just about anybody they can apply. I think that Apple like reviews it or something. I haven't submitted a book, so I don't know. And I've been looking around on sites, and since this is so new, I don't know if anybody's had their book approved. I don't know if they have to read the whole thing or not. But yeah. So what you do is go to this address. I'll probably have an annotation somewhere like over here uh, with a little link, and and then. You want to select that you want to publish books. Here you can also publish music, but I won't be showing you that now. So, just select books and continue. Now, there are some technical requirements. So, you have to have an Intel-based Mac running OS X 10.5 or later. At least 1 gigabyte of RAM. And this all comes with Macs made after 2007. Uh, Except for QuickTime 3, and 0, and 10, and QuickTime 7, but you can easily download that. Um, at least 10 gigabytes of memory. You should have at least 10 gigabytes of memory. Um, and a broadband internet connection. Uh, I think that if you are watching this video, you should have uh, a pretty good internet connection. And then the book requirements. Um, I'll go through that in a moment. Um, the financial requirements, you have to have the U.S. tax ID. Now, if you are someone my age, you don't have that. You also don't have a credit card, and yeah. So, you can just get your parents to sign for this. Um, the way that I develop iPhone applications is that uh, my mother has an account under her credit card. She gets the financial payment every month, and she pays me that money. So, um, for the book content, we go over here. The ISBNs uh, for titles you intend for all titles you. So, sorry. Um, basically, what these are, they're like a global distribution number that let people find out your book by looking up the book title. Um, it'll look for the ISB the ISBN uh, code number and or alphanumerical code, I think. And then it'll find out wherever it's being sold and stuff like that, I believe. And so that costs like $125, I think, to get. It's not cheap, but it's not that expensive, because hopefully you'll be putting money into it that you'll get back later with the book. Um, and then I'm going to teach you how to create a book in EPUB format today. Now... Um, I, you guys have to pass the EPUB check 1.05 by yourselves, it's, but, um, I will teach you how to make it. Um, so, what you're going to want to do is, the easiest way to do that is to go to Adobe InDesign. And now, if you don't have this, uh, you can buy it from Adobe, I know they're kind of expensive programs, I don't know how much InDesign is off the top of my head, but, um, <laughs> yeah, so, I think it's like, I know that some of the other ones are like $500, 600 it's insane. Um, yeah, but what you can do is you can download the free trial if you already have a book written. You can just download the free trial, put it into the EPUB format, and submit it so that you don't need to use it again. Um, and 30 days is fine for that. So, um, yeah, so basically you want to open this up. Now I am working on a iPhone, sorry, iPhone development book that I will publish to the iBook store, and you guys can learn just about anything that's in future coming videos, videos that I already have for um, in, in this book. Uh, I'm typing it up separately, but I'm going to put it all in here. Um, it shouldn't be too advanced, but well, actually some of it'll be you know, so. Uh, creating a dev account, the provisioning profiles, 
programming basics. Hello World, a simple application to just give you an example of how to make a basic application. And basic functions, adding and uh, subtracting numbers, doing like a UI or if you, the basic user functions. User interface, how to make it look nice. Uh, and I'll do be doing a few tutorials in this book on how to do some nice Adobe Illustrator animations. And then user interface, uh, sorry, animations. Um, I'm going to show you how to do some cool animations in Xcode. Uh, move around images, warp their size and stuff. Um, use your databases. This I've already posted all on YouTube. And saving information. You know, and it's user defaults. Saving to a text file, getting that information back again. Uh, user accounts, how to sign them in and out. And the end. So, I'm not going to teach you guys how to create your own book like this. Now, this cover is pixelated. I believe that whenever InDesign takes in a photo, it'll, like, de it'll, like, pixelate it a tiny. It won't load it, like, full quality to make it easier for rendering on the hard drive or, uh, not, I mean, not on the hard drive, on the graphics card. Um, so what you want to do is create a new file, and you want to create a book. And just say book creating tutorial. Uh, okay. Oh, right. Um, new document from template. Now uh, this will basically give you a more basic template for your book, which really makes it a lot easier. So then you don't have to like add all the pages and stuff. But so you want to go, once it launches Adobe Bridge, you want to go into books. And uh, you can choose whatever kind of book you want out of these two. You can see the previews here. The pages won't change at all. So you can double click on that to create a new file. Now. Uh, you could you put your own graphics here. You, you can create some great graphics in Adobe Illustrator. That's where I created. Where's my mouse? There it is. That's how I created this. You know, of course, these things are from Apple. But you no, know, I created a nice little reflection, a gradient, gradient text, and gradient text. Just makes it like a tiny bit nicer. But so, then in here you can create your thing. Obviously, as you can tell, this is the same uh, example that I created mine from, or template that I created mine from. And then, like the start of the chapter, a little text here, you could delete that. And the title of that chapter. And then getting into the chapter. Now this is in some strange language, I don't know really why. Um, all of my programs seem to be written in strange languages. But, um, so this is in a strange language, I don't know what it says, but it looks like some sort of informational document because it's showing header files in between, I mean headers in between each uh, paragraph, stating, well, I think that it's stating that it would, that, <laughs> sorry, that it is, like stating information and how to's on certain things, but I don't know because I don't read whatever language this is in. Um, so you just delete this, put all your own text in there. It's really not that hard. You can put images in there, and then uh, when you're done with that, you can obviously create your own cover and back and everything. But so when you're done with that, you can just save and. Uh, And then uh, you just obviously keep saving and keep it updated because you can lose files. I have lost whole reports that way. It's not fun to retype the whole report. Um, so then what you want to do is you want to export it uh, for a digital editions. This will export it as a EPUB, .epub file. 
and then uh, once you have that file you can move on from this. Now after this you go through the stuff to set up your iTunes store account information to accept the payments and all that wonderful stuff that I'm not going to go through because I'm not going to submit a book right now. So uh, thanks for watching, stay tuned for my next tutorials and uh, please comment on my moderator question what do you want to learn because as you can tell I've been doing less videos lately because I mean, I know a lot more, but I don't know what you guys want to learn. I don't know what you want me to do. So, yeah, thanks for watching, and please stay tuned.